If there's one thing I know about Pokemon, it's that I've played the Generation 3 games more than any of the others. I've got this. Generation 3 logic puzzle. I've got this in one try. We're going to think. We're going to use our brains. We're going to use our game knowledge. We're going to get this done. Let's go. The three Hoenn mascots are B4, a B2, B4, and D5. My positive counterpart is an E1. All the Pokemon in column 5 are Dragon types. The final evolutions of the Hoenn starters are in column 3. Okay. Column 5 is this one. They're all Dragons. The three Hoenn, Hoenn mascots are in B2, B4, and D5. So that is Rayquaza. None of the Pokemon in row B have a secondary type when not in a Mega slash Primal form. B3 is the only grass type in column 3. Alrighty. None of the Pokemon in B have a secondary type at all. And we know that one is Groudon and one is Kyogre. B3 is the only grass type in column 3. Groudon, Kyogre. Kyogre, Groudon. I don't know. Column 3 has the final evolutions of the Hoenn starters. And you are a grass type. Does that mean that you are Sceptile? It doesn't mean that it is Sceptile, though. It does not mean that it is Sceptile. It makes sense, but that doesn't mean that it is. I think it is. I think it is telling me that this is Sceptile. Okay, I'm right. The Pokemon in B5 in its most basic evolutionary form. I am not adjacent to a fire type. Neither of those, that doesn't help. Obviously, it's Groudon Kyogre. I know that. I guess it's for up and down, which means that Combusken or Torchic is down here. Uh, Blaziken is down one of these two. One of these two is Blaziken. Okay. One of those two is Blaziken. Uh, what's the rules on this one? Adjacent does not include diagonals. Thank you. Okay. This is why we check. None of the Pokemon in row B have a secondary type. None of them have a secondary type. Again, Groudon, Kyogre. We just don't know which order. B2, B4, D5. All Pokemon in column 5 are dragons. The final evolutions of the Hoenn starters as my phone just loves to blow up at times like this the final evolutions of the Hoenn starters are in column 3 I got all that which one's Groudon which one's Kyogre alright we know B5 is a dragon in its first form the only first form dragon in Hoenn is Bagon. Correct? Yes. Because uh, Trap Inch is not a dragon. It's Bagon. Four of the five Pokemon in Column 5 can Mega Evolve. There are no fighting types in Row D. Meaning that this one's Blaziken. I am not adjacent to Swampert. There are no ground type Pokemon in Column 4. Column 4, no ground. All right, you can Mega Evolve. Other dragons that can Mega Evolve are Salamence. Flygon can't. Does anything evolve and become a dragon? Sceptile, but I already got him here. Okay, that's good. I'm going to have to come back to that one. There's still nothing that tells me what's Kyogre and what's Groudon. But I know they're in B2 and B4. I'm not adjacent to Swampert. There are no ground types in column four. Column four, no ground types. Not adjacent to Swampert. Swampert is either above or below Sceptile. 
Is there anything that says anything else about typing? Column five or dragon types. Hmm. I'm definitely gonna run out of time on this one, but we're gonna get it right. That much I can say. <sighs> None of the Pokemon Roby have a secondary type. when they're not in a, another form. B3 is the only one. Oh, okay. Swampert has to be here or here. And I don't know which one it is. Four of the five Pokemon in column five can Mega Evolve. Four of the five. And what was it about B? Um, no ground types in four. And Bagon can't Mega Evolve, which means it's a ground type, non-ground here. Sorry, no fighting types in row D. I already got that. Um... Okay, think about this, right? Four of the five Pokemon in column five. I'm sorry, column five is this one. The rest of these are Megas. We just don't know which ones are what. All right? Now, we know that. The Pokemon in B5 is in its most basic evolutionary form and not adjacent to a Fire-type Pokemon. B5. Already got that one. No grounds in column four. I don't understand where I'm supposed to get Swampert from here or anything right now. Obviously one's ground on and one's Kyogre, but there's no way for me to know which one. Are they implying that Groudon's a fire type? Because he's not. No, he's not, because they say uh, B4 and uh, B2. So, And Swampert's in either A3 or C3. I don't want to guess and check. I literally wanted to do this the right way, but I feel like there's no way to know. I feel like there's no way to know without guessing and checking. I mean, Flygon is one of these in column five. And there are no ground types in column four. No, we already got one that can't Mega Evolve, so we just need a bunch of ground types to fill in the rest. Yeah. I'm guessing and checking Groudon and Kyogre at this point. I don't have a choice. Okay, that's Kyogre. It's fine. I again what what was I supposed to do? Um if you told if you can I want everybody to get in the comments right now and tell me if you could get further than I just did without guessing and checking. Because I couldn't. Just being a hundred percent honest here. Just not possible. Alright, this one's Kyogre. Nope, I got it wrong. <laughs> this one's Groudon. This one's Kyogre. Uh, this one's Rayquaza. Uh, this one is Bagon. This one is Plusle. And this one is Sceptile. And this one is Blaziken. All right, we got two new clues. There are two mythical Pokemon in row E. The Pokemon in C2 and D2 are grass types. C2, D2. Two mythical Pokemon in E. It can't be E4. Every Pokemon in row D is a flying type. So that's not Swampert. We already knew that. One of these is Swampert. We still know that. No ground types in column four. 
So D4 specifically, or sorry, E4 that is, could be a mythical. That is not a ground type. And that doesn't help because there are no mythical ground types in generation three. Okay. C2 and D2 are grass type. A5, E2, E4, and E5 are all psychics. Every Pokemon in D is a flying type. E2, E4, and E5 are all psychics. So Deoxys is one of them. Latios and Latios are probably the others. Yeah, I mean, I think we can make a case for that. Latios and Latios both have Mega Evolutions. So it's one of those two. Um, they both have Mega Evolutions. Deoxys does not. And it has to be a Dragon type. So again, it's, it's, definitely, it's definitely that one. It's Latios or Latios. Deoxys is one of the other ones. There are no other mythicals. That's it. So, Latios, Latios, Deoxys are our last three on the bottom row. I'm actually going to write that down right now. Lat. This is what you do to make sure you don't mess up. Did my pen just die? Are you kidding me? Lot and Deoxys, okay? Here's why we need to do this. I know what my bottom row is, I just don't know the order, all right? We also know Swampert is either C3 or A3. Um, we, all, we know that A5 is a psychic type, a mega evolving psychic type. The only one is Alakazam. No, wait a minute, wait a minute. It has to be a Gen 3 Pokemon. There is no Mega Gardevoir, right? I don't remember a Mega Gardevoir or a Mega Gallade. There is a Mega Gardevoir, right? Is there a Mega Gardevoir? Mega Gardevoir. There is absolutely a Mega Gardevoir. This is Gardevoir. What? Then what is it? What other what other psychic type? Uh, 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 Metacham, Metacham, or or Met, or Metagross. Okay, I I went I jumped the gun, I jumped the gun. I jumped the gun. Okay, I forgot which one's Kyogre and which one's Groudon. I didn't take a picture. What have I done? Uh -huh. I think that's everything I had, right? Look at this original picture just to make sure there's no others that I forgot about. No, that was it. Okay. Mm. So it could be Metacham or Metagross. No fighting types in row D. Maybe that's implying that Metacham goes here. I don't know just yet. A5, E2 and E4, or sorry, E4 and E5. Again, Latios, Latios, Deoxys here on the bottom. This could be Metacham or Metagross. I don't know yet which one it is. I don't know which one it is just yet. Okay. Row D, no fighting types or ground types, right? Column four, no ground types. So D4 is not a fighting or ground type. I wasn't going that direction anyway. Every Pokemon in row D is a flying type. Swellow, Swablu and Artaria. Tropius, there's plenty of water. It's plenty of flying. Yeah. They were introduced in Gen 3. 
I feel like this has to be Metagross. But it could be Metacham. Is there anything that tells me it's not Metacham? Uh, C2 and D2 are grass types. That's Tropius. The only grass flying in the game is Tropius. Perfect. Uh, A2, A4, C2, C4, all used by Stephen Stone. Perfect. A2, A4, C2, C4. The Pokemon in C2 and D2 are grass types. He uses Cradilly. Okay. A2, A4, C2, and C4. We don't know anything else about C, right? When the basic form of D1 evolves, it also creates a ghost type Pokemon. Oh, perfect. Ninkata. The basic form of D1, which means this is Ninjask. Pico, the Pokemon owned by Mr. Briny, is the basic form of the Pokemon in D4, Pelipper. The normal type Pokemon in D3 commonly has the ability Guts. That's Zangoose. I think it's Zangoose. It's not Zangoose, but that wasn't in the quiz, so we can take a step back and think. And think. It might be Lanoon, because you could go like Guts with Facade, but I don't know for sure. I'm going to wait on that. I'm going to wait on that. They're all flying. It has to be a flying type. It has to be a flying type. So it's Swellow. I'm adjacent to two water types, two flying types, and one grass type. Grass and flying both. That's a flying type as well. Two water types. Swampert's here. No! How is it not? How? You must explain yourself, Quiz. You must explain yourself. I did that flawlessly. I did that flawlessly. Man, the actually average score on this is pretty good. There was a whole bunch of more clues that I didn't get a chance to read enough of anyway, so it's probably for the best that that happened. Um, so we'll live with it and move on. All right. Cradley. Tropius. We got Sceptile. We got... Found Swampert, right? No, this is Swellow. Oh, Swampert's an A3 then. There he is. Okay. Uh, Blaziken. I hate that I had to do a guess and check, but it turned into that after getting it wrong. So it is what it is. Bagon. And then Ray Quaza. That's not how you spell Ray Quaza. Okay. One of these days, I'm going to learn how to spell. All right, here's the deal. We found Swampert. Um, we also know that C4 and D1 are the only bug-type Pokemon. D1, C4. The Pokemon in C3 is not a fossil. Okay. Uh, C2 and D2 are grass. We got those. Um, C4... And D1, Ninjask. Okay. We know that as well. So this is not Anorith or Almaldo. We got Swellow. I'm adjacent to two water types, two flying types, and a grass type. But you weren't Swampert. It was bait. It was bait. It is a water type, though. It's a water type. I just don't know what it is. I don't know what waters I'm missing. There's a few. There's quite a few waters in Gen 3. I'm going to have to wait a little bit on that one. A2. A4. C2. C4. Are all used by Steven Stone. A1 and A3. Are the only Pokemon in row A that can be female? Does that confirm that this is Metagross? It does. 
You're kidding me, right? A mega psychic type. Could that be? No, because it's there's only three mythicals. That can't be Latios. I think, I think it is Latios, though. I just don't know how. I don't know how it's Latios, but it, it must be. That's the only other one that I can think of. Unbelievable. So this is Latios. Okay. Okay. Don't ask me how I came up with that. Don't ask me how you're supposed to find that out. Okay, I don't know. I don't know how you're supposed to find that out. Don't ask me. Don't ask me. But it got done. It got done. Oh well. Kyogre and Pelipper and Ray Quaza and Vagon. Okay. A2, A3, and B2 were all ground types. A2, A3. That would have given me Swampert there. B2. Ground types. All right. A3. A4. B1. Final evolution of a three-stage line. Is this Metagross? Because there was one that said it can't be female. Which one was that? Which one had a clue that it couldn't be a female Pokemon? Um, A1 and A3 are the only Pokemon in Row A that can be female. Which means this should probably be Metagross here. Because it's also used by Steven Stone. And it's in the final evolution of a three-stage line. That is Metagross. Okay. The basic form of C4 is obtained with a claw fossil. C3 can only be found in Hoenn by diving. That's probably Clam Pearl. It could be Relicanth, it could be Huntail, it could be Gorbis, it could be Love Disc. Um... But this is either Anorith or Amaldo. Is there a way to know which one it is? There was something else that said nothing about said no, no about fossils. C4 is used by Steven Stone. It's Armaldo then. Okay. The basic forms of D3 and D4. I already, I already got them. And this one's Deoxys, right? There was something about mythicals. Two mythical Pokemon in row E. It could be this one or this one. Yeah, I don't know. It's Deox one Deoxys is one of them. Uh C1. I'm not sure I understand. Thanks, Siri. C1 and C5 both have mega evolutions with the secondary fairy typing. C1, C5. Gardevoir is one. C2, C3, C4 are all rock type Pokemon. Okay, that helps because we already know it's not fire. It's a rock type. And it's adjacent to two water types. We needed a water. Water rock is Relicanth. Thank you. The Pokemon in B1 has the ability Truant. D3 and D4 are both used by the rival. Swellow, Pelipper. Um, Truant could go on Slack Off or Slack King. I don't know which one it is yet. Um, yeah, you don't know just yet. There's no way to know just yet if it's Slack Off or Slack King. When the basic form of D1, it evolves. It got that. Um, A2 is also used by Steven. We have A4, C2, and C4. A4, C2, C4, got them all. Skarmory is probably the A2. I don't know if Steven uses anything else. Uh, my low tick as well, so I got to wait on that. Uh, C4, I got. Uh, D1, I got. Pokemon in C3 is not a fossil, Relicanth. 
That's actually a cool clue because it looks like it should be a fossil. That's actually a really good clue. No fighting types in row D. Got that. Nothing made me think there was one anyway. Deoxys is still in here somewhere. Um, oh, A2, you can't. A2 is a genderless Pokemon. Right? Um, yeah, A2 is a genderless Pokemon, I thought. What's the note about A2? Hold on. A1 and A3 are the only Pokemon in row to A that can be female. Meaning it's not my low tick, it's his other Pokemon, which is Skarmory. Yeah, it's Skarmory. Steven doesn't use anything else. It's not Skarmory. I feel like I got everything that Steven uses. I know he also... No, he doesn't use Walrein. That's Wallace. Steven uses both fossils. He uses a Milotic, he uses a Skarmory, and he uses a Metagross. That's five. And a Cray Dilly. No, that's both fossils. I already got both those as well. That's five. So he uses Salamence? No, he doesn't. Lance does, or not Lance. What's the guy before him? The pirate guy, whatever his name is. He was basically Lance. Um, okay. But we know that A2 is used by Steven. And it can't be female. It's not Metagross. It's not a fossil. Milotic. What am I missing? What does Steven have on his team? I I I, I thought it was Skarmory. I I did. I really did. What else does he use? Maybe, they, are they counting Omega Ruby, Alpha Sapphire, maybe? Or even the show? They better not be doing that. That's not cool. There's no way they do that, right? Ugh. I don't know. Did he have six Pokemon and I'm just missing one? Maybe. Oh, man, we gotta look it up. Did he have a ground type? Claydol? Did he have a Claydol? I think he did. Oh my gosh, he did. Okay. Okay. Well, I'll take it. The basic form of C2 is obtained with a root fossil. C3 can only be found by diving. It didn't help at all, did it? Nope. <laughs> oh, gosh. Two mythical Pokemon in row E. Deoxys is one of them. Oh, was there anything about... There was one about psychic types, though. Is E2 a psychic type? Where, 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 where? E2 is a psychic type. Okay, that's Deoxys. Thank you very much. The only water type not in column three is in row D. Great. Both fully evolved fossil Pokemon are in this quiz. That didn't help me. No, it didn't. No, it didn't. You know what? I just realized there's another mythical. It's uh, uh, Jirachi. I took a risk with Deoxys, but I got it. I need a Mega Evolution for C5. And... The Pokemon in B5 is in its most basic evolution. I got that already. Is there anything that says anything about C5, E4, C1, or B1? I'm looking for all of them. C5, B4, C1, or B1? B1 are the final evolutions of a three-stage line. That's, that's our slacking. There it is. Perfect. Uh, the basic form of D1 has a ground type. D1. Already got that. Ninjask. Uh, the Pokemon in A2 is a psychic type. Already got that. That would have given me clay off. I got that quiz anyway. Uh, that part of the quiz anyway. Anything about C1? Um, or just row or column C? 
Doesn't appear there is any more. It is in the same row as some others, in the same column as some others. But that's all it tells me. Oh, right here. C1 and C5 have mega evolutions with secondary fairy typing. C5 and C1. One is Gardevoir. I don't know what the other one is. One is Gardevoir, though. Hmm. Any other Megas in Gen 3 I'm forgetting about? that have fairy typing. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to look this one up. I'm not going to get it anyway. Absol. Absol. Gardevoir and Absol. Uh, did it say C1 was a psychic type or is that psychic one? Uh, no, it didn't. So could Absol be E4? Or sorry, it would be C5. None of the Pokemon in row B have a secondary type. That's fine, we're out there. B3 is the only grass. C1 and C5 both have Mega Evolutions with a secondary fairy typing. It's one's Gardevoir, one's Absol. I just need to know which one. The basic form D1 is ground typing. Pokemon in A2 is a psychic type. The basic form of C2, the chain of root fossil, C3 can only be found by diving. Pokemon in B1 has Truant. D3 and D4 are both used by the rival. Um, adjacent to two water types and flying in grass. Normal type in D3 has Guts. Um, not adjacent to Swampert. There's no ground types in column 4. The only water type not in column 3 is in row D. That's um, um, Pelipper. All the Pokemon in column 5 are Dragon. Oh! Oh, so it's neither Gardevoir nor Absol. Yeah. It's neither. You know what? It should be Absol. Because it's not a dragon. Gardevoir already has fairy. Absol gains it. It is Absol. Okay, it's not Absol. I'm leaving it be. I'm not putting in Gardevoir yet. But C5... Is a dragon with a fairy type mega evolution on a dragon? There's no way. That doesn't exist. That doesn't exist. Is it Altaria? Oh, I put it in the wrong one. No! I gotta type it all again. I got too excited. Oh my gosh, my voice went up an entire octave. Oh my gosh. Uh, my brain. My brain hurts. I'm taking a break for a couple days after this one. My brain hurts, man. Oh my gosh. I have it though. I have it though. That one's definitely Altaria, and that's that clue is going to get us to where we need to get to. Man, have I worked hard on this quiz. I did better than the Johto one, I think, though. Actually, I think it's been longer. I'm not sure, honestly. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Kyogre. Armaldo. And then we have... Uh, Pelipper. And then we have Latios. Bagon. This is the one that was um, Altaria. Okay. Ray, Quaza, and Latios. The only Steel type Pokemon in this quiz are in column four. Okay. A2 and A4 are genderless Pokemon. That's all I got. That didn't help. Uh, this is Absol, though, right? It didn't work when I tried it. So it's Gardevoir, then. Okay. The Pokemon in C3 is required to access the sealed chamber. Uh, D1, D3, and D4 are the final stage, uh, final evolution. D1 
D3, D4 of a two-stage evolutionary line. So what's E4? What is E4? It's not a mythical. Is there anything in here that says what type it is? Is there anything that says what type it is? E5, E2, E4, and E5 are all psychic types. Okay, E4 is a psychic type. What kind of psychic type, though? Is there anything about uh, row or column, uh, column 4? Anything about column 4? Or row E? Column four, row E. I'm looking at every clue here. There are two mythical Pokemon, got them already. There are no ground type Pokemon in column four. It's a psychic type that isn't a ground type. That does not narrow it down at all. I'm adjacent to two water types, two flying types, and a grass type. Pokemon to be one is ability. Nope. Um, I'm not adjacent to a fire. Basic form of C4 is obtained with a claw fossil. C3 can only be found in diving. C1 and C5 both have mega evolutions with the secondary fairy typing. C2, C3, C4 are all rock types. Uh, none of the Pokemon in B have a secondary type. B3 is the only grass. The only steel type is in column 4. Could it be... Could it be that it's a steel type? Is there a Psychic Steel in this gen? Metagross, which I already got up there. Uh, this is crazy, but I don't have an answer. There's no clue in here that tells me this answer. And when this timer goes out, I might just have to call it if I can't figure it out soon. I do not have an answer. It's a psychic type. And it's not a ground type. The only psychic type I'm missing is probably Grumpig. All right, think about some psychic types. Grumpig is one. Metacham is one. Metacham. Uh, Soul Rock and Lunatone. I feel like they wouldn't do one and not the other. so hard man there is no clues as to what gets me there except for the fact that it's a psychic type could it be Jirachi put Jirachi on the list they said there's two. Did it say at least two or did it say two? That matters. That matters, by the way. Where's the mythical one? There are two mythical Pokemon. It doesn't say at least. There are two. Oh, wow. This is crazy how hard this is.
It's a psychic type Pokemon. I'm going to read every single clue one more time. The three Hoenn mascots are B2, B4, D5. My positive counterpoint is an E1. The basic form of D1 has the ground typing. The Pokemon in A2 is a psychic type. The Pokemon in C3 is required to access the sealed chamber. D1, D3, and D4 are the final evolution of a two-stage evolutionary line. Pico, the owner of Mr. Briny, is basic form in D4. Um, all Pokemon in column 5 are dragons. The final evolution of the home starters are in 3. The basic form of C2 is obtained with a root fossil. C3 can only be found by diving. There are two mythical Pokemon in row E. The Pokemon in C2 and D2 are grass types. When the basic form of D1 evolves, it also creates a ghost type Pokemon. A2, A4, C2, and C4 all used by Stephen Stone. A1 and A3 are the only Pokemon in row A that can be female. The only water type not in column 3 is in row D. Both fully evolved possible Pokemon are in the quiz. I got that. C4 and D1 are the only bug type Pokemon in the quiz. The Pokemon in C3 is not a fossil Pokemon. The Pokemon in B5 is in its most basic evolutionary form. I am not adjacent to a fire type Pokemon. The Pokemon in B1 has the ability Truant. D3 and D4 are both used by the rival. I'm adjacent to two water types, two flying types, and one grass type. I am not adjacent to Swampert. There are no ground type Pokemon in column 4. The basic form of C4 is in clay obtained with a claw fossil. C3 can only be found in Hoenn by diving. A2, E2, and E4, and E5 are all psychic type Pokemon. Every Pokemon in row D is a flying type. The basic forms of D3 and D4 can be found when soaring in the sky. The normal type Pokemon in D3 has the ability Guts. C1 and C5 both have Mega Evolutions with the secondary family typing. C2, C3, and C4 are all rock types. There is no evidence that narrows it down completely. There is no evidence. The only evidence we have is that it's a psychic type Pokemon. It could be Jirachi, it could be Grumpig, it could be Metacham, it could be Solrock, it could be Lunatone, it could be uh it could be pre-evolutions of those Pokemon. I'm gonna go ahead and write Grumpig. It's not. It's not. It, it's Jirachi. Um, okay, so here is the explanation. This is the only explanation I can think of. Uh, Jirachi is a mythical and Latias is not. Or Jirachi is a mythical and Deoxys is not. I think that's the only way that makes sense. But hey, we did it. My brain has turned into mush 40 minutes later, but we did it. Um, yeah, and then A4 would have gotten Metagross off that. Well, we did it. Oh, at what cost, right? At what cost? Well, thanks for watching. I'm going to try the Gen 4 one, but that's probably as far as I'm going to get. We'll see. But I think it'd be a lot of fun to try it out. So I will see you guys for another logic puzzle.